Right everybody, it's the 27th of January and guess what? I'm 72 today. I used my special birthday bus pass to come over to Sand Bay today. I went out with some family yesterday and grandchildren for a meal and a few beers and then today I'm it, it was a beautiful day yesterday. I mean, the, the weather yesterday would have been brilliant for a hill walk. Today, it's overcast, a bit grey. It's trying to brighten up, I think. But anyway, I'm out now. I decided to have a nice, quiet walk on my birthday and reflect. It's near the end of January. We've got through the winter. But, do you know, within the last few days, I've just learnt through various people that three men I knew well, quite well, one was a friend out of the three, died recently and one has already been buried, the other two, well my close friend, he's been left to medical research, my friend Jerry. Yeah, he was a good friend of mine. Not for, you know, a, long, a while back, 20 years, in the what I call the Barrow days, before he left Barrow. We all used to go up the Barrow Inn and look out a pub window on a nice day. <laughs> yeah, he'd been a soldier, tank driver. Um, he told me many a tale about his adventures in the army. And... He was proud of his army career. He still kept his blue cap for like the peacekeeping force that he had to do, but he'd been to Ireland and he'd been in a lot of places. But he's also a, a big strong rugby man. But he hung up his boots a few years ago and passed them on to a younger man. He was, I call him a great spirit of a man and with great wits, very sharp. And uh, we used to participate in pub quizzes. He used to tell me so many funny stories. He really used to make me laugh. He really did. And he gave me a compass once and said, this is for you. Never lose your way. May you never lose your way. And various other little things I had from him. He was a friend though. We just kept it like that and it was good. And he told me so many funny sayings. For example, this one. If your health be good and your blood be good, here's to your bloody good health. I remember him telling me that one years ago. 30 odd years ago. And I've never and I've used it quite a bit actually. If I send people birthday cards, I often used to quote that. Apparently it was Anonymous who first said that. But I'll always associate it with Jerry. So he's not going to be thrown out of a plane over Bristol like he used to joke about. No, he's uh, leaving himself to medical research. He was a good person. I, I won't forget him. Him and another young man, really, who died in 2004, called Ian McNally. Me, Jerry and Ian used to often go out in the sticks around different old pubs and there was an occasion once when there was an old bench left in the Barrow Inn that nobody seemed to want and we thought we knew a really good place to put it and it was at Eli's out at Langport. Eli's with a thatch roof where a mixed team of Barrow participants of the village pub used to go and play cricket against the Eli pub people. Not a proper cricket match. Kids and everyone could join in. We used to take a big picnic and go out there. Anyway, one day this old bench was sat in the scuttle alley of Barrow and we decided to take it to Eli's. We asked permission from the landlord. Nice young man that ran it and it had been in his family for years, this pub called Eli's. Pub like you've never seen. Well, you probably have if you go out in the sticks. No proper bar. 
lots of barrels, the best jukebox in the world. And we were allowed to place this lovely old bench. It could have been an old church bench. I think it was a place they called the men's parlour. It was very, very oldie worldy this pub. We, anyway, we took the bench along and I got a plaque made from my, by my uh, brother-in-law, Bill Kingston. He used to do engraving. He engraved this little plaque for us and we took it out and Ian and Jerry screwed the plaque to the bench and we called it the Barrow Bench. And I don't go out there hardly, well, I haven't been out there for a long time. Jolene has suggested we could go. Anyway, whenever anyone, if, any, if I've known anyone has gone out, I said, is the Barrow Bench still there? And they would say, yeah, yeah, the Barrow Bench is still there. So in honour of Jerry, because he's leaving his body to research, I don't know if he's going to have a memorial day or anything, or, or, or an event to remember him, but I want to go to Eli's and sit on the bench and have a half a, 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 a pottle of beer. We used to call it, he, used, he introduced me to the word pottle. That was another thing with Jerry. Let's have a few pottles, he used to say. So, he was full of stuff like that. He made me laugh so much. He was so intelligent, so clever. He really was. Although I haven't seen him or had anything much to do with him since I left Barrow. I've never forgotten him and he's always be a friend to me. From those days, when I was younger. And he was a great friend. I spent many hours in the pub, many Christmases and New Year's. Me and my kids, we'd all go up the pub. We used to come out when we all used to go to play these cricket matches and go on pub crawls. Um, <coughs> sounds like I'm a right boozer, but the thing is, in those days, that's what happened. People did do that sort of thing. Anyway, I also want to go to another pub called Trotters. I think I was first introduced to that by Jerry. And Ian, I think. I think it was them that first took me up there. And we used to, we took other people up there to show them this oldie worldy pub where you could buy just one fag if you wanted. Um, once again, very oldie worldy. Um, so that, that was what, another one. Oh, there were loads out in the sticks on the levels. Loads of real old pubs. And whenever I think of those, I think of Jerry. He liked his beer. He used to have various little posts he would go to. They call them posts. You know, some of these pubs aren't don't exist anymore. They've gone. Um, the local ones around town. Yeah. Anyway, we both moved on. He stopped going in the barrow, so did I, because I didn't live local. And like anything, you drift apart. And because I didn't even live in the Burnham area anymore, I wouldn't even bump into him in the supermarket or anything like that. <sighs> and he never liked going in the club. There was a Barrow Club and we used, somebody named it the prison. So it had no windows. And there was always a little bit of rivalry between the club and the Barrow Inn. <sighs> but of course the Barrow Inn should never have been pulled down. I'm one of the last people to video the inside of that pub when it was partially demolished. And I've still got a couple of souvenir glasses from that, which I will keep in memory of Jerry and Ian. One for Jerry, one for Ian. <sighs> yeah, that was a very old pub. Listed, should somebody just came along one day and bulldozed it. And somebody built a co-op, little co-op shop on it. Very, very upsetting. I've got loads of old photos of it from long before I was born. Um, and that was our local pub. And it's gone, like a lot of things gone. <sighs> anyway, this is an introduction to my birthday walk. Over and out. This is Sheila Sam Bay.